channel welcome my name is Esther and thank you so much for tuning in in today's video before we get started you guys already know the drill go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy subscribe down below and also hit that notification bell so then you're always notified when you get uploads so in today's look yes baby we came with the sleigh because it's been a hot minute since I came to you guys with the makeup tutorial so I decided to do just this really simple like ugh. for some reason I don't know what to call this look, but it's so pretty, like a cranberry with just an ombre lip um, mixed with like a nice bronzy foundation routine for the summer. Like, I don't know what to call this look. All I know is you guys are going to love it because I love it. I wasn't really sure how this look would turn out. I knew what I wanted to do, but I'm really glad that it turned out like this. I feel like with the lips, something different. I did use liquid lipstick for the lips and I just did like a nice little ombre look. I was inspired by this beautiful orange dress okay but y'all overall everything about this look is fire like i know you guys are gonna love it i just know i know what i love you guys love right <laughs> without further ado let's go ahead and get started grab yourself a snack get comfortable and let's play with some makeup let's go yes it's been a minute honey it's been a minute <laughs> let me get something to drink real quick i'll be right back got me my kombucha All right, this is the cranberry kind. First time trying this flavor, it's not too bad. Welcome back, my beautiful friends, to another video. OMG, it's been so long since we have done a makeup tutorial, but today I am excited because I'm gonna be using a lot of new products in this makeup tutorial, and um, why not share it with you guys? Some products are not new, obviously, but they're one of my favorites that I kind of wanted to grab and play with today because it's been a hot minute since I've played with eyeshadow, full face of glam, so today is the day that we're coming out, showing out, and this is also going to be like a nice summer makeup because it is nice and warm outside and I just feel like this will go really well with the weather today. <laughs> so yeah, so that's the plan. I already plucked my brows. I am going to fill them in. And for that, I am grabbing this NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso. Um, this is one of my favorite drugstore products, hands down, brow products, okay? If you have not grabbed this, you should because it's really nice, creamy, and it gets the job done. It's one of my favorite, and it's affordable, so you can't go wrong with the $10, is it $9.99, $10 brow pencil? You can't go wrong with that. So like I mentioned, I went ahead and just plucked my brows off camera. They look really nice, so I'm gonna just go ahead and, should I move a little closer? Maybe I should because brows are a little bit, I need to come close and personal for y'all. As usual, I just outline the bottom like so. And what I'm gonna do, please ignore that little bump right here. So I'm also going to just pull the tail a little bit lower. I like to match like the corner of my eye and the brow where it should start and stop in my opinion. I feel like that's how long my brow tail should be. So I just go ahead and create my own brow tail because obviously my brows are so thin and they don't grow all the way down. So yeah, I'm gonna also fill in the top, just following my brow shape, okay? Like so, and then just fill it in. Do y'all see that? Like, no brow, brow. Period. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Like, it took me just seconds just to fill in that brow. It didn't even take that long, so. I remember when I used to um, fill in my brows and then I fill it in with powder. It was like a thing for me. Now it's like, I don't do that no more. <laughs> Okay, y'all see how that brow looks so natural? And I realized too, the more I do my brows, um, if you want to give your brows a little bit more of a natural look, just lightly fill it in, feather it, and it's gonna look very natural than putting pressure and making it look very dark and yeah, cause that's how I used to do my brows. I would just fill it in a little bit darker and it just didn't look as natural, but nowadays I love how my brows has been looking. Like just look at that, with no makeup, brows are filled, all I gotta do is just conceal so then they look even more perfect. And I really don't need to wear much makeup, but <laughs> you know how it is. I gotta wear a full face, don't play me. <laughs> so I'm gonna clean them up. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Kaja Beauty Concealer. You know what, I can just mix these two together. 
so I can get a little bit of like, not too light, but just the perfect shade. Let's grab a flat, perfect flat brush, and this is the Morphe M432 brush. Yeah, so this is the shade I need just to clean up my brows because it's like not too bright, but it's bright enough um, that it's still gonna give it that highlighted under brow look that I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and buff everything in with this um, Zova concealer buffing brush, and this is in 142. The number 142, and I'm just going to press um, this concealer into the skin. I'm not gonna like drag it, I'm just gonna press it into the skin. Like, I feel like when you press a concealer, a product into the skin, um, it like really sticks into the skin more than if you're just like blending it like this, moving it. I feel like you're moving the product. But when you're just pressing it into the skin like this, you're not really moving it much. Okay, so brows are done, they look good. I'm gonna grab a moisturizer because my skin is awfully a little dry. I've already done my skincare routine off camera. So now I'm gonna grab this vegan milk moisturizer by Milk Cosmetics. So if you're looking for a high-end moisturizer, I would definitely, definitely recommend this moisturizer. I love it, my sister is in love with it, so it's really, really good. Milk Cosmetics has Pretty good stuff, honestly. So far, I've only tested out their um, moisturizer, their primer, and their concealer, and you know, a little bit of other products. I haven't really tested out their foundation because I have not yet found my right shade of foundation. To be honest, I feel like their foundation shade range is not the greatest, but you know, I didn't find my shade, so that's probably why I'm saying this. <laughs> that's probably why I'm saying that, but oh well. All I know is this moisturizer is the bomb. It's so good. Other than my Neutrogena Hydro Boost, I usually grab that one if I want something more, you know, high end and expensive on my face. So for eye cream, you guys know I do this. Um, and if I never show you guys on camera, just know I grab some sort of eye cream because I need it. And I honestly feel like when I use eye cream um, before my foundation routine, my under eye looks so much more smoother and airbrush and it just looks so nice. I don't have much creases because I went ahead and grabbed like an eye cream that I love. And for that, I'm grabbing this Ole Henriksen Bright Banana Eye Cream. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of product with my ring finger. This product will last you a very long time because it is a lot of product in there. And just apply it on our eyes. Make sure it's really there. Coat it in there really good. All right, y'all, I gotta put this AC on. I'm dying, I'm really dying. Like what? try out this Tatcha, um, the Liquid Skin Canvas Primer. If you have tried this primer, let me know how do you feel about it. It's my first time trying it out. I am low-key excited to try it out because I bought this on my Sephora haul, so I don't know. It has not been used quite yet, but we will see how it feels before I talk too much about it. I mean, it feels pretty cool. And now my face is ready and prepped and we are ready for foundation routine. So for foundation, I'm gonna grab my favorite foundation. It's been a hot minute since I used this and this is the Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD Foundation. I feel like this foundation is really good, especially if you're taking pictures and you want your skin to look face tuned. I feel like this does a really good job. I like this foundation a lot. Um, this is like my third foundation from Makeup Forever because this is such a good foundation, but it is high-end and it is pretty expensive. So I took a break from it because I was not trying to spend that much money on foundation when I have other foundations. So yeah, but this overall is really, really good. I always like shaking my foundation, whether it says shake it or not, just to make sure I'm on the safe side. And then I'm going to just apply a little, some dots all over. I'll grab this matted brush and just start blending this all into my skin make sure it is blended everywhere very well and nice 
I've been really liking this minted brush. And this is just their just their brush. It came with a PR package that they sent over um, when they released their setting powder. So I think you can get this on their website just as their brush, but it's such a nice foundation brush as well. I'm gonna go ahead and conceal and I'm gonna grab the Kaja Beauty Concealer, both concealers that I use for my brows. I'm gonna take this lighter one and this is in the shade Sweet Toast, a little bit in the inner corner, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take which one is this chai pudding the words are so freaking small <laughs> chai pudding and just apply it you know just like how i'd highlight so because i know this shade right here it's not you know as bright as i would like it honestly so that's why i grabbed the other lighter one see that so I'm gonna grab the lighter one like do you guys see how light this is so we're not gonna like do too much with this just in the inner corner like that I mean if you guys have watched me for a while you guys know I love my under eye to be bright but you know I can't just use this that would be doing too much grab my beauty blender and just go ahead and just start blending this product in now you guys seen just using those two shades together it just brightened up but the thing is it did not overpower and make it too bright i feel like this is perfect um because i like my under eye to be nice and bright just to make me look a little bit more awake To contour, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Morphe Concealer in the shade C545. And I'm just going to contour with this. Ooh, -wee. I feel like I just did something. This is, I feel like this shade is really perfect for the summer. I use it even in the winter, but I feel like for the summer, it just makes my skin look like bronzy. Um, I don't know. But then again, I haven't used it in a while, so let me see if I remember how it actually looks. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my favorite, favorite brush to blend, and this is the Zova Petite, the littlest petite brush ever, and this is just going to blend everything all in. And this is their Petite Stippling brush. Not putting much pressure on the brush either, so we're just gonna blend. And also that contour. Oh, 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 oh! Do y'all see how nice that looks? That looks so blended and like butter into the skin. To contour the nose, I'm gonna grab this Sedona Lace 617 brush. This is just slim enough to just, you know, blend that nose contour out and about. So to set everything in, I'm gonna grab this Hourglass Translucent Setting Powder. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I've already used this once. And it's not bad, but you know, some products you gotta use it more than once. So then you kind of get a feel of it. You see whether it's even that good or not, but you know, we're gonna see today, we're gonna see. So, yo, this translucent powder is not bad. Like, I look crazy right now. Give me a second, because I'm going to just bronze up my skin even more. But, like, it highlighted all the spots that I wanted it to highlight, and it still is setting those spots. So, I'm actually highlighted all the points that I normally like to be highlighted, and you can tell. Like, oh, she looks very snatched, okay? Okay, so to bronze up my skin, I'm going to grab this Benefit Hula Toasted Bronzer. This thing is perfect for the summer. I feel like it's just the perfect shade on my skin tone. It's beautiful. I don't know. 
I just love it. I'm gonna take whatever leftover product and just apply that on the nose. So y'all for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Slick Blush Palette. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. I've already used this on my channel like in one of these makeup tutorials that I've done. But this is in the shade Flame 365. It is so gorgeous, like wow. Uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna like do this. Yeah, so pretty. You guys are just gonna see it's gonna add like a nice little touch of color. Like this is without blush and with blush difference, right? But this is so pretty. I like to go a little heavy hand with my blush, just a little bit. I feel like it just adds a lot of color and it looks really good. I'm gonna finish up with the face when I'm done with the eyes. I'm gonna just jump into the eyes now. For the eyes, I am grabbing this Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. Yo, do y'all see the shadows on this palette? It's so freaking beautiful. So pretty. So I think I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow right here. It's like a nice little orange. And for the brush, I am grabbing this Morphe M441 brush. Disclaimer, majority of my brushes are all for Morphe or Zova. Um, anything else different, you know, I would let you guys know, but just know everything I use is Zova or Morphe, which all the brushes will be in the description box. So I'm gonna just start buffing this into the crease as my transition shade it's so pigment i don't want to grab too much product all at once to be honest so we're just gonna like just blend that into that crease like so boom just like that so a little bit lower into my crease i am going to grab this eyeshadow right next to it and this is just going to darken up my crease a little bit more Oh, and for this brush, I am using this Morphe M514 brush. I feel like this brush is perfect to get into that crease a little bit more. Blend. So I'm gonna just like pack it in there. So I hear everything is opening back up, you guys. So what's the plan for the summer? I want to know what is your plan for the summer do you have any plans i know a lot of things are opening back up now um but you know with a certain capacity um but you know for all the people who had plans to go out of town are you still going out of town let me know in the comment section i want to know my friend is getting married in august and she's doing her bachelorette um next month in tennessee so I'm pretty sure a lot of things are opening back up in Tennessee. Um, yeah, so she wants to do that. So I'm going to go back into that brush, the first brush, and just blend everything in together. And I did not grab any product. This is just from the previous product that's already in the brush. I'm just blending those two together. But yeah, so she's doing her bachelorette there. I'm honestly doing my bachelor here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, because at this moment with this COVID situation, I just feel like there's nowhere. Well, the place where I wanted to go was out of, out of country, okay? And with COVID and stuff coming in, um, it's just impossible to do that for my bachelorette. So we're just gonna celebrate it here and just have a good time with my friends. All of my friends are good vibes, so we're gonna have so much fun. And sometimes with bachelorette parties, it doesn't matter where you go. It just matters who you're with, the group of people you're with. If they're good vibes, you're going to have a good time anywhere you actually go. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye. So for my eyelid, I'm going to grab... I'm gonna grab a fireball right here and I feel like it's like a nice little like cranberry in a way yeah it's a nice little cranberry eyeshadow um I'm gonna take oh this shadow right here it's like a nice gray tone um, I'm just gonna work this on my outer corner Let's just hope this turns out the way I actually wanted it to turn out. 
I'm gonna start with this one. Like, I'm not even putting much pressure on this brush. <laughs> At this point, I feel like this palette is pigment. It has a little bit more fallout than the other palettes that I've tried of hers. Well, I've only tried one, but this one has a little bit more fallout than usual. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this Laura Mercier eyeliner and I have the Laura Mercier brush. I'm just going to like pretty much, um, if you're not really into that liquid eyeliner kind of vibe, I feel like this will be so nice for you. I just recently just got this product from Laura Mercier and I actually really like it. It's a nice, nice product. Can you guys see that? This is with liner and then this is clearly without it. I think you can definitely see a difference to it. Okay, so you guys, I have to rave about this eyeliner. Oh, Laura Mercier does it again with another product that I love so much. So this is how the eyeliner looks. It's pretty much powder, but it's an eyeliner. And you can purchase it with this like flat brush, or if you have this kind of flat brush at home, it's perfect. This kind of eyeliner is my type of eyeliner than a liquid that crusts and stuff like that. And because this is powder, it's so much more easier um, to apply the product on yourself, whether you're beginner friendly or not. So yeah, I really love how this is looking. Wow. Looks so good. So I'm just going to go ahead and start smoking out my water lash line. I'm gonna grab the same eyeshadow. I think I'm gonna just do, yeah, so I'm gonna grab this orange first and just start working this under my water lash line. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this other eyeshadow. going to grab that same eyeliner and actually work this um, on just like a regular eyeliner. So you guys, I just decided to do this and just grab this eyeshadow right here and just place this in the inner corner of my eye just to brighten up this look a little bit. Ooh, uh, yes, that looks so pretty. So for highlighter, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this NARS um, Overlust Highlight Palette. I'm gonna grab this fan brush <laughs> from Laura Mercier. I don't know if it's gonna work. Cause this palette is not one of those highlight that just like, ah, in your face. So sometimes you kind of have to apply with your hands, with your fingers. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply this highlight with my fingers because it's more in the natural. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with this Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I'm actually gonna do this first before I jump onto my lips and I'm gonna change you guys because you know how it is. my babies I am back so now it is time for the lips and for lips I'm gonna use two liquid lipsticks today I am not gonna rock a uh, lip liner I'm gonna use the liquid lipstick as a lip liner okay <laughs> um, because I haven't really messed with this shade in a long time so I think I'm gonna use this to darken it up and then I'm gonna pop this orange in there a little bit of pop I know it's so different but today is just something about this look that I feel like this two lip code lipsticks will go really well together um, so this one I am using uh, the Too Faced matte liquid lipstick in the shade drop dead red and then I'm also gonna use this Kylie um, this uh, Kylie cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade 22 22 okay like I mentioned I'm gonna use this as my liner <laughs> you know what this would be still a pretty liquid lipstick if I'm using it all over the lips and 
then I'm gonna grab Kylie in the shade 22 and just place that in the middle. So my babies, this is it for this look. What do you guys think? I am so in love with it. I am gonna come a little close so you guys can, <sighs> wow, it looks so good. Face looks so airbrushed. Like this foundation, I told y'all it's the real truth. Don't play with this Makeup Forever H Ultra HD foundation. It's the real deal and I just love the packaging. Like, it's not gonna break if you drop it. So far, I've dropped it, it hasn't broken, so. You guys, I also loved how the lips turned out. Such a nice ombre look. I feel like with the ombre, it makes the eyes pop out even more. I was inspired by this dress, as you can tell, but y'all, I love this look. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also leave me a nice little comment down in the description box um, because I am sure to comment back as usual. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for tuning in. Now, I'm Sana, and I will see you guys in my next video.